This class is designed to help the student of class 10 who are preparing for SEE examination. I want to start from the first chapter first. And in this chapter, I want to start first the important definition and law. What are they? Gravitation, gravity, Newton's law of gravitation, gravitational constant, acceleration due to gravity, mass, weight, weightlessness, and free fall. These are the important definition and law which are coming in examination frequently. One or two of these again comes in examination. Let's start with the first one. Gravitation. What is gravitation? The mutual force of attraction between two bodies due to their mass is called gravitation. It can be understood this way. Look at this again. We have to remember this. Gravitation. The mutual force of attraction between any two bodies due to their mass is called gravitation. The meaning of mutual attraction means not only the first one attracts the second one, second one also attracts the first one. That's why this force is called mutual force. And this force produces between two bodies because of their mass. That's why we don't have to forget about this. Mutual force produces due to mass. Now next, gravity. What is gravity? The force of attraction of a heavenly body acting on the another body lying on or near its surface towards its center is gravity of that heavenly body. Look at this. Nicely, you have to remember this way. The force of attraction of a heavenly body active on the another body lying on or near its surface towards its center is called gravity of that heavenly body. Just for example, a huge heavenly body, we can take earth. And we are on the earth. That's why earth attracts our body towards its center. That's why earth's gravity is acting on our body. Now, let's talk about third one. Newton's law of gravitation. Before starting Newton's law of gravitation, you must understand about two terms. Number one, directly proportional. Number two, inversely proportional. And then we can understand Newton's law of gravitation. What is directly proportional? Two quantities are related in such a way that when one of them increases, another also increases. Or when one of them decreases, another also decreases, then this type of relation between them is called directly proportional. Just for example, when we apply force on a body, then acceleration produces on, a, on that body. You are taught in class 9. When force is applied on a body, acceleration produces. More force is if applied, then acceleration will be more. If force is less, then acceleration will be less. It means force and acceleration are directly proportional. One increases with the increase of another or decreases with the decrease of another. Now, next term, inversely proportional. What is the meaning of inversely proportional? Let's say we have to paint our house. There are four rooms and four painters are used. They may take one day to finish their work, but if only two are used, then they will take more days. They may take uh, two days to finish that work. If only one of them is used, then it will take four days. Four men, if work together, they will take one day. If two men work together, they will take two days. If one man take uh, that work, then he will finish that in four days. It means what? When number of painters are decreased, the days required to finish the work is increasing. This kind of relation is called inversely proportional when one quantity increases, another decreases. Now, after the understanding of this directly proportional and inversely proportional, now I want to tell you what is law of gravitation. According to Newton's law of gravitation, gravitational force between any two bodies is directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between their centers. Now, remember this nicely. According to Newton's law of gravitation, the gravitational force between any two bodies is directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between their centers. What is the meaning of this? Directly proportional to the product of their masses means if mass is more, then gravitational force will be more. If mass is less, gravitational force will be less. If 
distance is more then gravitational force will be less if distance is less then gravitational force will be more okay now let's enter into another term that is gravitational constant what is it gravitational constant it is defined as the gravitational force between two unit masses separated by unit distance. Two unit masses means one kg mass, one kg mass. There are two one kg masses. If they are separated by a distance of one meter, then the gravitational force between them is termed as gravitational constant. It is denoted by capital Z. Okay, remember this gravitational constant. How it is defined? It is defined as the gravitational force between two unit masses separated by a unit distance. Now next term. Let's talk about acceleration due to gravity. When a body is dropped from certain height, every second its velocity goes on increasing. It means acceleration produces on that body. And this is acceleration due to gravity. Acceleration due to gravity means acceleration produced on a body or acceleration developed on a body due to the gravity force of the earth is called acceleration due to gravity. The same is given here. Acceleration developed on a freely falling body due to the gravity of the earth is called acceleration due to gravity. And it is denoted by small g. Now look at this gravitational constant. It is denoted by capital G, but acceleration due to gravity, it is denoted by small g. Now let's talk about mass. What is mass? It was taught in class 6, 7, 8, 9. Quantity of matter contained in a body is called mass. If more quantity of matter is contained in a body, mass is more. If less quantity of matter is contained in a body, mass is less. And its SI unit is kilogram. Okay. Now next, what is weight? The force with which earth attracts a body towards its center is the weight of that body. My weight means the earth is attracting me towards its center with what force I am attracted by the earth towards the center of the earth, that is my weight. In the same way, weight of this marker means what? With what force earth attracts this marker towards its center is the weight of this marker. And weight is a force, its SI unit is Newton. Now let's talk about next. Free fall. What is free fall? A body is said to be in free fall if it is falling freely with acceleration due to gravity without any resistance. There is, if no any air, air resistance or any other resistance, if a body is falling freely, that is called free fall. A body is said to be in free fall if it is falling with acceleration due to gravity without any resistance. Now, the last one is left, that is called weightlessness. What is weightlessness? When a body is in free fall, when a body is in free fall, then it becomes weightless. Why? Because of lacking that reaction force. Because of the lack of reaction force. And such a condition of the body is called weightlessness. Look at this. Weightlessness. A body becomes weightless during free fall due to the lack of reaction force. Such a condition is called weightlessness. We finish all this definition and one law. Now, I want to focus on their symbol also. Look at this. Gravitation seems to be the symbol G, but not G. It is F. This is a force, F. And gravity denoted by the symbol F because it is a force. And there is another also mass. A symbol is small m. If we have to take mass of Earth and other big heavenly body, then we will take capital M. Weight. Weight is also a force. It is denoted by F. These are the important definition related to the chapter force. You can get all these definition in this book. This is Pocket Science published by Asis Book House. And I wrote this. If you want to enjoy this, you may get this in uh, market. Okay, this much for today. We will continue next class.